just like Betty White. Guess who's dead? You'll never guess. So off of the upper deck. Oh! It's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. It's good. I know. <laughs> No, nope, there's no home. fairness in this at all. I'm done with it. I'm fucking done with Battle Box. Done with the dungeon. Fuck it all. Done. No. Nope. That's, that's the end. The end of the drop zone. No, fucking. No. Just done with it all. Done with it. Fuck them. Don't fucking fight me, you. Next fight. No. The uh, first fight. No. <laughs> The law is the law and I say fuck it! <laughs> fucking cracking got robbed. I can get the fucking floor. <laughs> Aerodynamics of Billy was meant to go that way. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what fucking box are anymore. So this is what it feels like to be abused. You fucking <laughs> you <laughs> Finally I'm loved. <laughs>Great fight with Kraken with the, uh, the, the the top disc and now with the forks and the undercutter dominated Black Dragon in this fight like the forks were just scraping the ground right underneath Black Dragon and they opened in seconds over to the pulverizer and from that moment on you knew the fight wasn't going to go any different. No, I, I genuinely <laughs> thought that you know Black Dragon would be the one to dominate this fight, but like because well, I, you were wrong. I know, <laughs> like the lowest wedge. I thought okay, because th there has been compromise problems with his forks before. Yeah, too flappy. Yeah, too flappy this in the past. This was styled and uh, curtains for poor Black Dragon. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean like Black Dragon for the few chances that Rotator gave them because this was just a dominant performance of driving skill, of control, of damage, of aggression, just there was no other way Rotator wasn't going to win that judge's decision, like no way at all. Well, uh, shit. And piss. I think Rotator's got this mm. man. The few times that they allowed Black Dragon to land hits, it felt like Black Dragon couldn't really find a good catch point. Like, there's a point where they have rotated around into the wall and they just can't get them up the wedge because the wedge is so compromised. Yeah. Like, to actually get ahead. Uh, there was the one big moment that they had. That they didn't exploit, unfortunately. They, they, if they had a cap continuing to go forward. They could have uh, not had less, more, less damage. Yeah, because I mean, like you look at that undercutter of rotator, and it is just scraping the, the battle box floor. There's one point where it even goes, ah, I kill a saw slot, bang. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go ahead. How low that undercutter is. If in that big hit, they'd managed to turn rotator upside down. Yeah. To have the spinner on the top. Then again, I'm not too sure because like the wedgelets are articulated. So, I'm not sure if the wedge is being upside down, they wouldn't be scraping the floor as much. And likewise, with the blade being top side up, it wouldn't be landing those low hits, because it did so much damage to Black Dragon's wedge. The wedge was completely compromised, but I think if it had been upside down, Black Dragon could have maybe damaged the weapon completely, because the, the undercut is right directly yeah. at its, its egg beady type. But, but I mean, at that point anyway, that was the, the weapon battery just gone, like it was... Pfft, Ah, uh, weapon smoke from uh, Black oh, Dragon. Oh, fuck me. He's going to do his party trick. Even if they did go upside down, I don't think they would have made any difference. You know, Black Dragon. And I love you, Black Dragon, but uh, not your fight. <laughs> yeah, no. Not, Sorry. Not, not good enough. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You did good. Just but not good enough. You need to do better. Yeah. Suck the nice as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to be nice, man. It's trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tend to. Road Mad Catter! <laughs> Punches everyone in the face! He win! Oh fucking golden mate! Uh, Yo, it's spinning! Uh, ooh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, oh my! <laughs> we're promised so much, and we're given so little. Just but enough life. about my love life. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I mean, that's two for two now. We're Blade. Orby. Orby. Which, I think that's what's gone wrong here. He's they, changed they the sh name. He never changed the name. It's like a ship. Yeah, yeah. A ship I'm always has a name, and it's just the one name, and if you change the name, it fucking sinks. Except for the Titanic, but that's beside the point. But, yeah, that's what it is. Don't change the name of your fucking robot, because then all the goblins come out of the fucking cupboard and go, Rawr. I had to copyright infringement. Fuck copyright infringement. <laughs> I want to see them win fights. Fuck this. <laughs> I, I mean, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh! It falls. It's Blades in the fucking wall. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Uh, Lucky, uh, punt him out, please. This is fucking Orby Blade we're talking about here. The this is a machine that fucking makes Tombstone look like a fucking little bitch in a dress. Like, that. that's what it looks like. That's what, it's fucking, that's a monster. It's a big fucking bastard that goes, ha ha ha, fuck you. Right, do you know what? Lucky, great, brilliant, class, sexy, love it. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, put a big fuck off mouth guard on the front of it. Mad go, Catter style. Mad Catter style to go... Jesus, we're fucked. Mm. We're gonna get cut in half, boys, but if we're going out, we're going down fucking swinging. Put the mouth guard on the front of it. Cover the wheels up, cover the fucking front of it up. Brilliant. Uh, didn't need it. Needed it for one hit. Oh, it took, took a chunk out of it. Took and a chunk then, uh, out of the front. Then uh, the, the, uh, the arena wall decided to eat half of the blade. From, from, from the same walls that tried to consume all of Glitch, uh, <laughs> decided to take a piece of Orby's fucking blade, ironically enough. Uh, and then, you know what happens? It's on the wee jig. Does the little gyro jig. Did we dance? Does, the, does that. Lucky didn't uh, like that. So y your weapon's completely fucked. And uh, Lucky just went, I'll park you there. <laughs> Nicely in front of the judges, uh, this fight is completely okay. over. Judges, we're done now. Here yeah. you go. It's, it's like Take you know, it like a valet bringing your car around, but they've had a couple of drinks, so they crash it into a lamp. <laughs> like, 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 oh, there we go, there's your fucking car back. Fuck you. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, <laughs> I'm really, really uh, sad to say this, but... Orby Blades, this isn't their season. I think the next. Do you think? No, but in all, all fairness, like, I, 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 I genuinely was like expecting, like, oh my god, like after seeing King of Bots and seeing how well heavy hitter they were. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it just shows you that you have. This is the uh, uh, elite, elite gladiator place. You have yeah. to be on your shit. <laughs> this is the Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this was this fight shows it. Like if you're not prepared or I just I was so fucking shocked when that part of the weapon broke off. I couldn't believe it. Like after the first hit, look at the welt they left in the side of that lucky armor. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck a duck. That that just went wrong in all the best ways. chunk out of the wedge too. If that if the hat have kept on going, I think personally what what Blade needs to do is not the tactic of going wedge to wedge, just spin the blade up and go forward. See, I like that tactic. It's a I, yeah. The tail whip's a good idea, but not with Orby Blade because there's a lot of power. Like with, with See, it's, it's not just fine. the power; it's the weight. Uh, See, because like, look how heavy that big thick bar is. Like mm -hmm. to, to the point where like they, they've chopped a bit of it off, and you just saw the amount of gyro shaking that was unreal. I also think brushless drive is you know with it was something with Orby. It, I would say go back to like proper motors. You, yeah. can, you can get small motors like nice brush, nice brush crisp motors. Like not because that's what that's what happened. It went forward, did the skid. Oh fuck! Boom! Judges, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Next fight. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky was that? <laughs> <laughs> Feeling lucky, punk. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said. Hey, he said the line. <laughs> We're going to die. Benny. What are you doing? What? What, no weapon, what are you doing? So we'd, uh, we'd heard about this long mm. before Battle Watts uh, started. In fact, like, while filming was going on, what had happened with Daniel Freitas and his family. And I know we're the dickheads that take the piss and that sort of thing, but we don't take the piss over serious matters like yeah. this. I mean, the man lost his, his mom and his granny, you know. Um, and it's uh, it's kind of a real shit thing, but it's lovely in its way. And and yeah, they kind of poured it on a little bit in the episode itself, and and kind of put a spotlight on it. But what I love is that this sport 
it can it, it provides a wonderful distraction doesn't it mm. and, and it really does and and it allows you to do something that's absolutely mental with your friends and I think the the point that I kind of saw that the most was after they won the fight yeah. where you see like all the teams coming together they're hugging him and stuff he's crying uh, and they're just all there supporting him and it was just it was lovely to see it was nice it was nice to see that that, that the camaraderie of it and the team like you can tell that they're all friends behind the scenes it's not just that sure, yeah. we're colleagues that are, are underneath building minotaur like it's all a, a friend circle like and battle bots as well the the, the fight itself this to me feels like one of those because I know I noticed that in the comments section whenever we do CPZ as well. Um, there's a lot of people saying that like for some reason it seems like the old guard are meeting the newer machines. Yeah, and it's very one-sided fights, and and this was another example. And I know that uh, Black Dragon have worked their asses off to beat Duck mm -hmm. uh, again. Fair enough, a heavily compromised Duck, but a Duck all the same. Uh, and it's like, okay, well, who's your next fight again? Oh, well, it's Minotaur, the machine that finished second in 2018. Yeah. Fuck you. I was expecting acrobatics and nerve. One hit dead type One hit deal. dead things. Not yeah. expecting a... A, a slugfest, certainly. For, a, yeah. Okay, fair enough, to give credit where it's due. Minotaur knocked out the weapon very early on. I knew that going weapon to weapon was such a bad idea. I do not expect Black Dragon's weapon to work after that. No. Oh. Uh, Oh, uh, oh, right, oh. that's great. Did a lovely little self ride. Yeah, she's like, I, <laughs> I'm doing this with Wood Saxon. I can self ride. I'm, yeah, I'm here. Without a self ride. Exactly. I can, wow. do, I can do wheelies and shit. For sure, yeah. And then Minotaur's like, nah, bitch. Yeah. Uh, back down and get back down. <laughs> nah, bitch. <laughs> now nah, you get back down there. I need this win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, self riding. Nice self riding. No. Uh, it says, right in the face again. And also the the wedge is really really great on it too. Very I low do on the like ground. That wedge. Even Minotaur with its little forky forks on couldn't get underneath it. No, what's your surprise? Uh, well, struggled to get underneath it anyway. But I do love with the little wedge as well. When you see it when it's riding upward, it almost looks like you know like the grill on a knight's mask. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, like the proper like, yeah. So, so and like, the little little feathers. Yeah, I like, I like the so feathers. like really cool design choices in it. Um, but Minotaur, I think that's a lighter drum. Than we're used to seeing. I don't think that's the eater. That's not the drum that when it hits just sends people flying. Yeah. Because this ha this kind of had all the similarities of. Do you know the rematch that they had with Blacksmith, mm -hmm. where it wasn't causing major damage. It was just kind of grinding it. Yeah, like little. This like kind of felt like that. And yeah, Black Dragon. It isn't as bedded in. It isn't as well reinforced and and having to have a lot of kinks worked out in it and that sort of thing. And that's fine. But it just felt like. It was taken hit after hit, and it was just one of those death by a thousand cuts type fights. Minotaur spark and something's wrong with a weapon. Ah, uh, fuck my ass. I think Minotaur is still compromised from the slow base fight because there's sparks coming out of the drum. Yeah, well, shit, the uh, sparks. It was fierce. maneuvering sluggishly <clears throat> in in ways. I think that's to do with the gyro, to be fair. Mm, it just didn't feel up to power like we know Minotaur and I know that you know yeah, the, the, yeah. the driver has has had problems uh, with the filament and stuff yeah there's a new team captain there's a whole new team well, captain so yeah. there could be all new components we don't know the internals of it no but no we don't as I said for this fight it, it wasn't the holy shit Minotaur is just gonna I thought wheels yeah. were gonna fly <clears throat> off yeeting into the into the deck it wasn't an explosion it was a slow burn as you said death by eyes and cuts but yeah or a scrapes win, a win's a win a win is a win and Daniel you take that fucking win sir that wasn't really like you no know, Minotaur like proper boom dead type thing see it's grinding it's not uh, catching it and fucking robots away I think that's their lighter drum though isn't it I have no idea it just didn't seem to be performing do you know what hmm Patrol Zone! Ooh. So these are some of the comments that were left underneath last week's episode. Ivan Roy has left a fucking tome for the ages here, uh, talking about how Captain Shredderator shot the bed, and uh, the out of the arena rule as well. I'm not going to read it out, but I did read it before, and you can read it too, maybe. Anyway, um, Tim C says, Duck's match actually made me think that the duck bill lifter thing was made out of cardboard by how it was torn off. Yeah, it did look like that. I'm saying MDF. I was about to say <laughs> balsa wood. Yes, balsa wood. <laughs>
James Booth, Team Cold Speed, says, I've been meaning to say this on the past few episodes. You guys never failed to make my day slash week better with the amazing content you produce on both your channels. Ooh. You're entertaining. You always make me laugh and leave me feeling happy by the end of the video. I've been feeling shitty of late, including today. But thanks to you guys, I'm feeling happier again. Keep being awesome, lads. Well, we're glad much, much to spread the idiocy and, uh, and uh, make people happy. And because, cheesy goodness. Yes, because um, if you can make people laugh, you're yeah, not going to make them cry. Something was there. And then it was gone. We <laughs> <laughs> were trying to do philosophy there. The fan of 1991. He's a regular around this part. Is that his name? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I thought you were making a story big there. Uh, to continue my question from last week. Why don't you guys try to get into battle bots? Uh, for fuck's sake. I'm You're so passionate about combat robotics and you already do have experience in the field. I know something like this must be a huge undertaking, but I guess your fan base would support you greatly. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen our Patreon? Have you seen that? We owe Patreon money. Yeah. <laughs> They tried to take her knees the last time. Uh, it would be so great to see some huge, twisted, and probably kind of perverted creation of yours in the arena. There's some replies You don't want here. Toe Bastard in, in anyone's life. Or fucking Bum Fudge. Yeah, the reason they haven't is probably time and money, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, heavyweight combat robots are extremely expensive. Uh, I think you slightly underestimate how expensive a full heavyweight is. And then Pyro Tales came along. Oh, that, that fucking nuclear war zone. What the they fuck They lost Battlebots, so instead of trying to compete, remember how well they did in Robot Wars? That's right, two birds. <laughs> in two weeks. Oh. They made their own battle bots. It's called Antwain Anarchy and it's what? brilliant. You know what? He's, he's literally took his cock out and slapped us and then went here and I will give you a little bit of the... Yeah. <laughs> Tickle your balls. He's taking our balls, balls and punched us at the same time. Thank you for shouting out Antwain Anarchy but stop hurting my boy pushed eggs that we tried. <laughs> One head dead. Go. Yeah. Weapon to weapon. Smooth. Oh. No, no, uh, no. I like pain train. New York, represent and all that shit, bro. All right, um, but I think they could learn a couple of things from Yeti, because yes. like looking at this fight, it was a case of P and Train, but like and Yeti both have the drums, mm -hmm. both wildly different designs of drums, both wildly different designs of bodies, and I think this proves why Yeti is the superior. Not only because they won the fight, because of how they did it. Uh, they've got the four-wheel drive, their body's longer, their drum's bigger and heavier. So it can, yeah, and it has the triangles too, which it didn't really need, but no. it still had the triangles regardless. Because Pain Train, you see it at the start of the fight, and it's, it's better than it was last year, fair play uh -huh, to it. Uh -huh. But you can still see the drive is giving them problems. Because they were out of control at the start of the fight. Yeti, anytime it takes a hit, anytime it delivers a hit, it's just strong, it's stable, it can turn on the spot, and it just outdrove and outperformed Pain Train. You see, the, th the thing is with Pain Train, it's based on their little, little small beetle weight, uh, Shredded Bro. Ah, uh, yes. That he's very dominant in the Norfolk Havoc uh, division. Oh, which they talked about. Which they have talked uh, about. They, they give some light, so good for your battle bots. Yes. Uh, other things exist apart other, from you, battle bots. Exactly, exactly. Nice. Keep doing that. Yeah. Uh, I got my Danica. Hashtag watch Ant my Danica. Everything. It's fucking pointless. <laughs> with the design, as I said before, it's getting there. Like last year's pain train, meh, meh, little things. Yeah. This one, good, getting better. Next one, fucking yeeting things into the air. I definitely think so. I think they'll have learned a lot from after this fight in particular. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, top panel definitely needs to be fucking glued yeah, on. Yeah, ah, that's not oh. dirty. Oh, oh no! fuck it all! Ah! Stop it, you fuck! Got a fucking light bulb out of it as well. Panels gone. Side panels fuck gone. Me. Well, that fucker on. <laughs> That's after, two fights. Yeah, right? after, after every fight, just weld it on. Or put some sort of like disc thrower, so when it falls off, you grab it and fire it at your enemy. Yeah, well, just something anyway, because holy fuck, they were eviscerated. Yeah, weapon motors all came out, drive yeah. motors. Battery didn't come out this time, which was nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like the opposite happened now. It's like, Joe, you know, there's like. You know what's going to happen in the next fight? The wheels are going to just fuck yeah. off. He's still going like a champion. Wheels there's fuck. Fucking shit coming out. MOT's of gone to fuck. That's it away. Ah, the oil's gone too. I'll never be roadworthy. Ah, she's calf, man. She's gone. Like. Kind of worried about Yeti's design this year. I was like, eh, it's a bit kind of. Uh, well, I mean, it depends on how it's up against. I mean, like, even Pain Train, like, it landed ahead early it on. Messed up the wheels. Got the wheel. Up the wheels. That was far enough. JK. Oh, 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 nice. oh got shit, the bed, okay. Yeti were like, nah, fuck this, dude, because, like... We need a win. <laughs> we went up against Mad Cat and we got our 
fuck kicked in. So now we're yeah, just the small gonna, boy. You have to yeah, fight him now. So now we're just going to go against Payne, trying to mash that fucker. Like I mean, like it was stuck on the sidewall, and they just kept going at it and going at it. Like the 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 drum attachment as well was just fucked. Like yeah. did you see how bent that was. This is from the guy who that's not forget turned around. Don't, says, be, don't a be a dick. dick. Yeah. And kept going, uh, kill it like the rest. Fucking Jesus, God man. sake, don't be a dick. Take your own advice. <laughs> don't be a dick. He's still moving. He's still train. moving. Why is your head? Stop He's still the fucking moving. thing. Stop it. Pay and train were still technically trying to move. But not so, that first so time. They were done at that he, point. They were moving. Yeah. like, stop so, hitting me, you get bitch. Away from me. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he kind of abandoned that mentality ever since the, the whole ice wave thing. Yeah, fuck it all. That's just no. It's, but murder everything that moves. I think it was he. He was trying to get "Don't be a dick" put on a T-shirt, but he had to pay per letter, so he was like, "Just leave the don't off." Just don't. Just, just be a dick. <laughs> yeah. I'm still in this fight, Chief. No, you're fucking in nothing but a coffin, man. Like, you're gone. Dick! <laughs> <laughs> fucking hitting there. <laughs> Kraken is gonna you know, fuck him oh. up. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, dead. Is it dead? Dead. <sighs> you may begin. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> Anthony, you may go on my oh. first whistle. Ah! I swear to fuck, I don't know, like, like <laughs> the committee, the judges, the whole fucking lot of them. Shoot them. Because the, the, the judges don't like Kraken. Kraken came out like a fucking boss, <laughs> right? Boom, right? Dead. Robot's dead, right? Yeah. Starts to come back to life. What's happened? What's going on, right? And Kraken goes in again. Boom. Blah, dead. Yeah. To the point. To the point, ladies and gentlemen. Right. That. It's wet stock. It's, it's, no, it's hijinks at this point, right? That's hijinks, right? But that has a spinner. Fuck it, this one's hijinks, right? <laughs> this is cracking. But that's wet stock. Don't have a destroy car. my Wait, graphics. Shouldn't you use bite force because that has a claw? Right. <laughs> Get out of here, right? So, look, right? Yeah. Backs off. Go to the ref. It's fucking calved. It can't move. It's doing. It's not even doing a thing. It's just spin like a helicopter, right? Judge said the ref does fuck all. Fuck all. Just goes, well. Sorry, what was I, moving, I, though? I was eating. No, it wasn't fucking It, it did that. Look. It was dead. It was spinning like a wee budgie, the helicopter, not moving right. at all. But, but then it did that. Which is moving out of its own circumference. The referee needs to count this out, like. It's going around in circles. If Kraken stops engaging, maybe. Go into the screws, dear boy! So that shit happens, right? Right, right, and right. And then Kraken comes in, has to engage, because the fucking rules are now changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he goes to the wee screws, puts the deck, everything's great, right? Count the fucker yep. out. There we go. Right, yet, actually, yet, <laughs> does that, right? Doesn't do that, but you get the fucking gist, right? Yeah. And then it goes on the fucking the deck. Into the deck. Yep. Go. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye. bye. There you go. <laughs> but oh no! It has to do the helicopter thing. Comes back down. Fucking Kraken has to engage again. Everything goes pants. Ah! Uh, oh wait! Oh no! Ah! Wizard, come back from the future. And it's said, nay, the this thing. fight must go on longer! <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> you made a point, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait for a split decision, split decision crack, and no, 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 do we get that? No, do we? Fuck. No, we get a fucking unanimous decision. Fucking Hi hijinks! Yeah. No, I, Take over, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, over it. Okay. You might not like what I have to I say. I know, I can hear, I can fucking feel it in you, I can hear it, go, go on. Alright, alright. Fuck this fight. Yeah. But I don't think it has anything to do with hijinks. I don't think it has anything to do with Kraken. I don't think it has anything to do with the judges. Rules. I think it's the criteria. Yeah. It's the judge and criteria because this is what happens whenever you have a judge and criteria that prefers damage over control and aggression. Yeah. Because, and especially with the rules uh, set up this year as well, it doesn't matter. Because you know why Kraken was getting all those hits? Not because Hijinx was engaging with Kraken, because Kraken was engaging with Hijinx. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. If exactly what happens in this fight happens, where Kraken is running at Hijinx and taking damage from Hijinx while attacking them, Hijinx still gets 
damage points. And it's officially... Well, the bar's doing damage, there's the fucking eye off Kraken. Man, like, I, I feel for the Kraken team. Because like, yeah. that, that's before, it threw out Kraken's career. There's always been bits of fuckery with the rule changes or things like that. I generally think the team just don't like it because they go, it's a wedge. Which it's not. It's a crushy death machine yeah. that keeps on going. But you see, that, that's the thing. Like, the entire field, like, people are... are oftentimes the big argument is, why the fuck is this competition all four-wheel drive verts? That's why. It's because damage is preferred over fucking everything else. Yeah, so anything so unique is just out the window. Spinners of all types, not just four-wheel drive verts, but uh, bar spinners and drums and, and everything else, and uh, hammer saws and the like, they're all going to do well when it comes to a judge's decision mm -hmm. because they can inflict damage. Like, occasionally you will get one that can cause damage. A flipper, like Hydra, that can flip you so high it'll fuck up your wheels and cause damage. And, and it's visible damage that you can see, not internal damage. Yeah. Because that's where what we see with a lot of crushers and control bots and, and flippers and the like. Like, they will fuck up the inside of a robot. On the outside it could look brand new and pristine. The judges aren't going to see that. They're going to fucking mark it down. You know, so I think that's probably the, the biggest issue in this episode and in this fight. It's got fuck all to do with the judges. The judges, I think, they, they got it perfect within the rules. I wouldn't know who, who to call that up for. Kraken. You think so? Fuck yeah. They He's took a control fuck ton of damage. If they give that to hijinks, that's the ultimate bullshit. I think it should all be equal. If I'm being honest, damage counts just as much as control, just as much as aggression. Because if you can just sit there and barely fucking move, and yes, I know hijinks is compromised, and fair fox to the team, if you're going to win a fight just by going at like 0.2 miles an hour across the battle box with a big helicopter on top of your head, that's kind of crap. I mean, you can even see it on Jen's face when the fight ends. Like, that's not someone going, Yay! That's, that's someone fight. going, Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not the way I want to win. I don't want to take the win yeah. like this, but... And I can see why it would anger a lot of fucking people, but it's within the criteria. At least it was close. And I appreciate they showed the judges... Score oh, you cards. know they did that specifically because they know for a fact we will wreck Everyone, them on you yeah. and the whole Everyone community will, will turn What apart. the fuck was that fight? Yeah. Take a picture, put it on the, on the episode, that our job done. That keeps us covered. No, I mean, it doesn't. I'm guessing the only reason that Kraken didn't get full control points is because they lost a wheel. No! Ah, oh, fucking, fuck fucking, ho oh, oh. It's took out the wheel. He's still moving. He's moving more than hijinks. So, like, I, I think just maybe from a driving standpoint, it's why they lost the wheel. Uh, losing the tooth, I think that goes damage in favour of hijinks. Mm. Uh, and aggression in favour of hijinks as well. So, I, I, I'm guessing that that's probably where it's coming from. It's just, it's within the judging criteria. Isn't it, isn't it I don't agree with the judging criteria. I think the, the, the whole uh, prioritising damage thing. Yeah, it's done to make sure we don't just get a couple of boxes pushing into each other for three minutes. But there, you have to reach a happy medium somewhere. I think this is going to continue to happen throughout BattleBots like lifetime. Is the rules are going to fuck it about, and then they'll change the rules again. And then there'll be something else been taken away that people get annoyed about, and then that will be changed around. And then just carpet bomb the fuck out of the whole lot of it. BattleBots is done. Uh, I'd be great. Um, they should introduce a Mad Bomber tournament for anyone that just like <laughs> if you have a robot that just goes like a two mile an hour, but the weapon spinning. Boom, explodes. Yeah, they've all got C4 strapped to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And at any one time, should uh, like a random randomizer be introduced it will just randomly explode, explode robots. Yeah. Explody bots. Until one's left, yeah. Sp <laughs> Splody boys. Splody boys. That's bungle bots. Oh yes. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm done with this fight. Can we move fight. on? Next yeah, one. let's go. Next one. Don't like it. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck off! Are you fucking serious? I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Not to be a dick or anything, but that I think this is just one of those fights that just goes <laughs> It just yeah. deletes itself out of my brain. Like I mean, it's the alright fight, but it's just it's one of those things where it's just like I got very little if anything from this. If Reptide's egg beater had been working constantly throughout the entire fight, yeah, sure. That would have been good. It would have ripped Defender a new one. Because from that early opening onslaught, you can see the damage that it was capable of doing to Defender. 
But then uh, fuckery happened. Yes, a lot of it. And uh, the world went sideways. And uh, like I, I think just I think you're right. At that moment, whenever Reptile got stuck on the side, Defenders have just went. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucked him. Ah, leave him. He fucked himself. Take the win. Take the win. You need it. Back off. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I clapped. At those moments, right? It's like, okay, you've lost your first fight to Rebop. Yeah. He's literally given you the opening. He's done it himself where he's like, I'm trying to do things. Oh, I'm fucked. It was me. I would, I would have backed off. It's it's unsportsmanship like. But yes, ungentlemanly. I would have took it, bully. I've won. Yeah. He's actually on fire. What are you doing? He's trying to self-right. Fuck it, I don't want to be in Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him up. Calm <laughs> yourself. <laughs> chill. Chill. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, holy fuck, it's 15 feet in the air. <laughs> yeah. Jesus lived. Uh, but I don't think that was worth what the rest of the fight was. It was just... A little back and forth. Little it wasn't even. A little nudgy nudge. It was just, oh, I'll push over here. Yeah, I'll push over there. Nah, I'm going to you now. Oh, it's your weapon fucked. Yeah, well. I shall push you to the hammers and back myself on the head. So little to say about this. There's so little happened. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, just that one big... Uh, and yeah, that was great. But just the rest of it, I was just kind of like, I, I kind of want a nap. Oh, I, want to, I want some more milk and beckers. No. Uh, just, I want to sleep. No <laughs> sleep. Don't, don't go sleep. No. This, would, this, this <laughs> fight would put you to sleep, yeah, yeah. but not in a disrespectful way. No. Defender has... has, has I, I, I don't know what way to say it without sounding like a complete dickhead, though. Do you know what I mean? Like the, Okay, that, 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 right. let, let's just say... You are both shit. <laughs> I was I was going to say something, but uh, he shot me down in flames. I've just crashed into the I've crashed into the mic. No, fuck it after that. Like, <laughs> I will do victory, yeah. So you get a fight analysis from Mike from Mr. Psycho, right? Yeah. Come over to us, and you just get shite move on. Yeah, what the fuck happened? <laughs> no, that's right. what happened. Well, let me let me break down the technical analysis of this disease. Oh fuck me, that's dead. <laughs> let, me, let me break down the technical analysis of this disease of uh, why reptiles what egg better stopped working. And then you come to us, and it was like that was fucking shit. <laughs> Straight to the point. Did it? Ooh, fuck me! And then it was just crap. Oh rest. fuck me! Puff puff time. Out. Fuck it. Next fight. Thank fuck! You're watching the same fucking fight I was. Here's a good one, Team Baltergeist. More axes, you say? And you like spooky stuff, say no more. This episode had the highest highs and the lowest lows. It's, it's gutting to hear from Hal in his Reddit AMA that he's retiring duck, but whatever he builds next, it's going to be beautifully engineered and built like a brick shit house. Otherwise known as a tank. I like that because uh, that team was from here that entered into, well, it was going to be in this season. They had a really cool black neon axe type thing. Hang on. So, uh, Let's go to the channel. Beverly. Uh, Baltergeist is a combat robot from London, UK. It's a spooky futuristic hammer bot. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Uh, I will show you the picture. Because there's no it, fucking video. It was meant to be in this season, but unfortunately they... Um Baltergeist is a combat robot from London, UK. Spooky futuristic hammer bot with a focus on spectacle and theatrics. Each hammer blow and a good of charge, creating a moment worthy of an anime battle. <laughs> it's not just a competitor, it's a character with a personality as colourful as its team members. You know fucking videos in a fuck all of this channel. He's like, already started. Upload get a get fucking video. video. He's not a YouTuber, he's a builder. Right, well, fuck it, I'm his first subscriber, right? Now, I want to fucking get fucking... <laughs> I want to get I want my content! Right, where the fuck's the notifications in this bitch? Right, I want notifications. All right, fucking start making content. I want to see Baltergeist. What the fuck? It, anyway. looks, it looks cool, though. Enough well, of this crap. Uh, yes, um, Hal is retiring, Doc. Is he ret not fucking now, time. <laughs> is Hal retiring, or is he just He's retiring, Doc. So he's um, finally going to build Goose. You will. It'll be another fucking It'll bird. be called Goose. Or, It'll or, do you know what he should bring back, which was actually really nice? Ringmaster. Bring back Ringmaster. Ringmaster was great. That was Ring a full body spinner, That was a full body spinner. Yeah. It was a badass motherfucker, and then it disappeared. And, then, and then we got Breck. We got Duck, and then we got Merlin, or Marvin. Yeah. Uh, Ringmaster. Bring it back. That was the daughter's robot, wasn't it? That was it? the daughter's yeah, robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I can see what he means because this dock was built from a defense perspective. Yeah. And then the one that we have now was like a gimmicky. Okay, okay we'll try and do something different, and it was just terrible. Uh, and I said it last week. I don't think Hal Rocker would be happy with that design. True Good. enough. Here we are a week later. No, or you know what retired. he should bring? Whoops. Whoops. Whoops was uh, the inspiration of why of Duck. That killed Tombstone in a really good fight in RoboGame. Blue! Trademark. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, blue. Tra I almost hold trademark. No, blue. no, no. There's a blue that we have, and that's that. You can't trademark that. It's a little small bean. I don't remember how I found your channel, nor why I subscribed. <laughs> that's a lot of our fucking families. <laughs> But it's, was that some guy? Has he made a new kind? No, it's blue trademark. That's some but guy. I always look forward to your drop zone reviews nearly as much as Balboss itself. Seeing some Irish guys go apeshit, or at least one of them. That's you. That's you, do, me. you do go. You do lose your shit. That's I'm trying to get into an ape at this point because my hair's fucked and I've got a little long beard. Um, yeah, go apeshit over Battlebots is funny as hell. You all really do deserve more views. Well. Be the change you want to see in the world, my spread guy. Spread the message. Yeah, spread it like you'll see. Get the cult in. <laughs> yes. uh, bother people, because like, we, I, I think we've kind of give up whenever it comes to trying to convince people yeah, to like and subscribe. Yeah, if you find us, you like. find us. If you don't, you don't. We yeah, do, like, uh, we don't really give a fuck about views. We don't give a shit about subscribers at this point. Um, Merchandise. We give a shit about the people that watch us and, and leave comments and shit like that. Hence, hence the, the CPZ. Um, but yeah, like uh, if you want us to have more views and shit, Share it around. Share it around. Put it on Reddit. Put it on your Discord. Tie your family put up. Put them against the TV and yeah, say truck sound. Hijack a, the truck. <laughs> what was that one? There was a guy last time going to take us to a school and do a project, make people watch the entire school to watch us. Whatever it was, yeah. Do do those things. Do those things. My girlfriend doesn't like robots. Oh well, no. At least you're not married because divorce ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know yet. Well, it says my girlfriend doesn't like robots. He might be Not gay. my wife he doesn't like robots. He might be like gay, you know, divorcing her and getting a new girlfriend. Right, well, um, yeah. Is that it? That's <laughs> all he said. That's the channel name. Oh, I know who that is. No, he's a good person. He's, he's uh, teaching his girlfriend robot com uh, combat bad. So but she doesn't like him. No, but she does. But Certain fights. But no, that's no, a no, lie. No, I, you've done this with this. My girlfriend no, doesn't You've done like this robots. with this. is not a drill. But it wasn't a fucking drill. I know it wasn't a drill, but that's just a gimmicky name. This this channel does videos on watching robot fights and asks his girlfriend, does, he, does she like them? And what does she say? He is showing her episodes of, of right. Robot Wars, I think Battlebots, and then he asks her, what do you think? And she doesn't like it. No, sometimes she likes it. Some fights she doesn't. So then why is it saying my girlfriend doesn't like robots? Why is it not my girlfriend maybe sometimes likes robots? Why would you type that as a long ass fucking why thing? Why would you type that as a username? Comment. What comment. the fuck's the comment? Right. Um, it says that my YouTube channel name makes no fucking sense. Please. No help bullshit. Me. What the fuck's <laughs> the comment? Why would you comment underneath that? Of all fucking things to say. Thanks for indirectly acknowledging my comment about the retrograde rampage fight. Told you. Apparently, he said it was shit or something. I don't know. I prob oh, okay. That's probably why I forgot his fucking channel name because I started having an argument in my own head about how little sense. Yeah, you do that so many times. Now it's outwardly out here. Yeah. Great for Go watch this channel, it's great. But yeah, a bit of a mess, except it's lies. Don't but fucking don't <laughs> listen to that gob shit, just go watch the shit. But yeah, a bit of a mess, fight cards, some really high highs and some quite low lows. The main event was pretty class, as with free shipping uppercut. If only uh, sensation, if only in sensation alone, not too bad, 6 out of 10, and that comes from a proven liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so, I'm so sorry. What's the next one? Sorry, he's getting all the publicity now, like, he's getting his grace. Casey Dunigan says, Odd question, do teams get access to the box before a fight? I asked because you would think teams would take measurements of the width of kill saw slots or make the forks just slightly bigger, as, or a same team glitch, measuring the height of the sidewall. Uh, for us, from our Robot Wars experience, no, we didn't get access to the box. Yeah, that's all they get, is just yeah. basically, they're put in the test box to see so if like, they can spin and move I, I doubt very much, and from a health and safety standpoint as well, because there's fucking kill saw slots in there, there's hammers that could come down, there's, yeah. there's fucking sparklers in there now, there's the screws. There's fucking jets of, 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 CO2, of CO2, CO2 and you. shit. Yeah, so it's it's a dangerous old fucking place is the battle box. So mm. I don't think it's just freely open for people to walk around. No, I, I, I know the Robot Wars arena wasn't. Just wrapping it up for the comments. VJ says, knocked one out to this. Cheers, lads. He did my fuck. Let me say that. <laughs> I 
We're set. We're porn material night. Subscribe to our OnlyFans. <laughs> Go fuck you. Give us money. Give us a fucking slug match. No one hit the head bullshit. Come on. Yes. Okay. Go, no, he fuck you. Himself. So throughout the many. Many, many pieces of preamble leading up to this fucking fight. One of the things that had me worried was when Will Bales was talking about this new sexy version of Hypershock that uh, we've removed all the gimmicks, including the fucking self rider. And your blood pressure went. <gasps> whenever they mentioned that, I went, ooh. And then whenever they mentioned it again, you know, where they're coming out of the sexy tunnel of death. You're like, this is. They mentioned it again, and I was like, the Lockjaw's gonna twat them over, and they're not gonna be able to self ride, aren't they? Which They're setting this up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, this is definitely a hypershock that, at long last, it fucking works. And it's why they have a Hexbug toy. Do you know what? I'm happy because. Uh, but I'm also not happy because I bet you this will be. Do you know what meme? Show me the real hypershock. No, Show I mean me the, the real, real hypershock. Perfection. Perfection. He yeah. just fucking in the bin or something, eBay. There'll yeah. be a new one with fucking wings of, of glory and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but this one. Big, massive, reaching teeth of death. Yeah. I didn't realize the last time when you said it was actually longer. I. I it is. It yeah. is. It's, it is. It's much. Like. It's much longer. Yes, it can do the drift as well. Uh, much more reinforced too. So looking at this matchup, I went, okay. So if they're gonna hit weapon to weapon, I think Lockjaw's gonna come away the worst for wear on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I was right for the most part. Yep. The, like the, the, with the driving, it was twitchy from both of them. But you can see exactly what they were doing, which is keep your face to each other, keep your face to each other. Because each of them have the exact same problem. They expose wheels on the side. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they were aiming for on each other's robot. Teach him lessons. Oh, fuck me, the wheel's gone already. On Hypershock? Yeah. Look. Ah! Both wheels are gone! Oh, look, Jeff! Fuck him up! It was keep your face to them, but get your face buried into those juicy ties, boys. Lockjaw though was it got sniped two tires like in, in seconds. It did, yeah. And then a took good, a good use of the force. Yeah, took a wheel and then hyped like, oh, nah, bitch, I'd take a wheel too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm gonna fuck my wheel away because it's worthless now. <laughs> that I, was great. I hate it. He's got his fucking wheel now too. No, oh, he's still. Lockjaw's doing pretty well. Hypershock is struggling. Both both wheels. Fucking hell! Oh, he's gone to fuckery. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you wheel. Lockjaw looked a little compromised. I'll, I'll not lie. Like uh, there's moments in it where you can see it kind of going like, oh, where, where, which way do we go? Because it was so quick. It was. This it was. was a, it was a really fast-paced fight, mm. and to the point where, like, I had to rewatch this twice just to try and understand what the fuck is going on. You want to know how the hell did he snipe the first wheel? Yeah. So it's 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 exactly what those love hit forks do. Their feet are wedged to the to the the hinge the disc, death yeah. of, of discs. So the fork goes in, pulls Hypershock into them, takes the hub, and just while Hypershock goes, oh fuck me, the hub's gone. Other wheels completely buggered to yeah. comes like this little propeller. <laughs> yeah, it's just twisting <laughs> it's up in the air. It's like, I'll get you, boy. I'll get you. Who can last with the most amount of wheels? Horribly mangled. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think that's probably what's been their Achilles heel in the past, is the fact that they have to split the, the weight between the weapon and the soft rider. Mm -hmm. So uh, without the soft rider there, they put all the weight into the weapon. I think he, he mentioned that in the episode, didn't he? Yeah, it means uh, they put more weight into the weapon, or the, more reach to it. They put well. more weight and more reach into the weapon, and holy shit, it has been paying off for them in spades so far. And now we're seeing it up against one of the the, the old war horses, one of the old war dogs, Doll Hudson. Okay. Yes, from Taz Bot, which was mentioned. Uh, Mismentioned, I, I should say. Yes. Kept calling fucking Lockjaw, and it's like, no. No, it's Dice Actor. It's Dice Actor. Yeah. Check what, your what, facts. What the Why did they dub Farouk over uh, Mark Biero? Like what? Well, uh, reasons? Mr. Editor was sleeping that day. Fuck him. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, whatever the fuck happened. Like he was talking about having his Dice Actor McDonald's toy. I had one. I had one because it's from the same wave as Overkill here. We will try to find it. We will do a hunt for it. Yeah, because it had the, the little hammers on the sides and everything, the little claw in the middle. It was, it was I an, don't it's know what version of as well, but super rare. Yes, yes, yes. But, but you, I you did have, have little Tazzy. But I have Tazbot. Yeah. Hello. Um, but yeah, this is uh, a, like one of the old war horses with Donald Hudson. And looking at it, had this been any other type of hypershock, and we've seen fucking many of them over the last couple of years, 
I would have went, yeah, okay, I think maybe Lockjaw has this. But uh, I but. never thought I would say this. Ever. But I think I'll be Ills has literally, finally, finally has homed it in. Yeah. Stay Don't change it. this fucking robot. Yeah. This is what it's you It's great. Do. Leave it. Lockjaw just, the drive was absolutely fucked because uh, one of the wheels was gone, the other one you said the tire popped flat on, it, on like that it side gone. works. It's on it's that kind of compromise. So you can see it like it's it's in trouble. A hypershock just lines up the attack beautifully, comes in with the ram. And that's what causes it to go out of the arena. Ah uh, no. Fuck out of there. Ah uh, no. Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell! That's against the rare! That's illegal! That's illegal! Take nerve. him to prison! Shoot him! Shank the fucker! <laughs> In the ribs! No! Ow! Last week, we had an incident with Hydra and Graf. Oh, a controversy of our highest oh, degree. My, yes. The tickler. Uh, <laughs> now, apparently, it's. It's in the rules, a couple mm -hmm. of things, but in the rules it says you can't like say start off in the middle of the battle box and deliberately ram them toward the wall with the intention of flipping them out of the arena. Oh, so that can't, yeah. So that can't happen. Why was that but never explained? Why did the bot whisper, right, as he's at the side there when they cut to him and go, okay, every ladies and gentlemen, here's the rules. The rules is this, this, and this. Yeah. Instead, what? Because you can see Will Bales after it happens. He shit like, himself. Oh, like, we're fucking I'm spotting. fucked. <laughs> yeah, because the the thing is, if you knock someone out of the arena while constantly engaging with them, which, again, it's in the rules, you have to be engaging mm -hmm, your opponent mm -hmm. and all this fucking carry on, right? And if you knock them out of the arena, then that's fine, that's fair. That's within the rules. And uh, also, because whenever people heard that this rule was going to happen, they went, the fuck? We are going to cause a whole war. Yeah. Burn them at the stake. Like, <laughs> Udas are banned? Fuck this. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, so apparently that's what it is. So, like, out of the arenas aren't banned. They are allowed, technically. But you can't deliberately, you can't in deliberately. the intention of, a night, the, uh, yeah. of an aruna to so go like, to that corner. So, Hydra started in the middle of the arena with Gruff and ran them straight to the sidewall and flipped them out, that's a ban. Which you know he would have. Yeah, but it's the fact that he accidentally knocked them, yeah, knocked them out of the arena while engaging them in the fight. And fed him a lot of uh, troll uh, energy because he loves that yes, shit. Yes, the <laughs> sauce is great. <laughs> yeah, but then again, that's Canadians for you. What can I say? Cause, cause, <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, because uh, Jake called us uh, British, was it? Uh, English, I, I English or British is that uh, we're not, we're Irish. No matter what's the difference, and I went, well, then he's Canadian. <laughs> but you see, you're falling for it because Jake knows that he did that deliberately for you to fuck with, get really pissed off, mention it, and he gets more publicity in an episode he's not even fucking in. Great, so Where's do I. That fucking fusion hat. Yeah, but see that's Sorry. The, but see that's the thing though, right? Because if we start a fucking flame war with him. Then more people will come so to us. going far. <laughs> exactly, yeah. How's that for all? But fuck, uh, I forgot. He's used to fucking flame wars, isn't he? Because ah, his yeah. robots keep catching fire. But that <laughs> burn, bro. <laughs> Aye, that's what his robots get. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hyper fuck and, and lock tight. Oh, fuck, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the fight. Um, uh, yeah, out of the way now, all, all my pants. Great. <laughs> uh, please, well, please just don't change the robot. This is Sax Machine 9000. Yeah. I like it. I know Donald Hudson's sick of making robots, he might retire. <laughs> no, he come back with Tazbot. Yeah. <laughs> and go... <laughs> and then crush everyone, turn them into a sandwich and eat them. <laughs> Put them in the crush into a sandwich. <laughs> you will never know that inside joke. No, you won't. That was a good match, I like that now, that was good. Yeah, what a fucking ending though, I didn't see that coming. I swear to God, man, if this is another one head to head, we're not doing these YouTube fights anymore. You, you don't want I'm them? done. We're never doing these fights again. Uh, We're not doing these YouTube fights oh, anymore. Oh, thank God. Right, look, seriously, not to be a fucking dick or anything like that. Really, really seriously, not to be a dick. But th these are just one-hit deads. And they're an extra fight that we that has to be edited mm -hmm. every week. And it, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of energy to make these fucking videos. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is, starting from next week, we're not going to talk about the YouTube fights. Instead, we'll save them for the end of the series. 
and then we'll just do a big best of the worst style video yeah, we're talking about rank, them rank what this and, and rank them and we'll include all the fights that we've done so far yeah. as part that's of the rank that's fair that's fair but yeah we'll, we'll do one video talking about all the YouTube fights and why they sucked Right. Okay, see, see, it moved. Just a wee wee thing. It's doing it? a weird move, but that's it. Yep, good. This, to me, was personally just a give Valkyrie a win. Yeah, it was. It was. After losing to P1, they, they needed the, the W. Yeah, the, t um, the, the crowd favourite needed now, to be a... Triple Crown. Has ah, I see you. I see what you're doing. Spin I spin see spin what spin you're doing. Spin spin. Uh, creative idea. Very interesting. From the Manta team. Yes! Who competed on uh, International Robot Wars back in the Which day, uh, in Robot Wars years, Extreme. 18 years out of the game. Now, okay, so before you rain down fury death on it, yes. the team captain actually has a, a YouTube channel where he explained everything in fine art and detail. Yes. Now, he had that concept where it was going to have, like, it would have spinners, different attachments, all that stuff. All these crazy ideas, and unfortunately, the motors that he had in the robot overvolted and caught fire. So he had to get other motors, but he doesn't have any other uh, parts. Yeah. So he literally, what he had is, I have a working robot. I have no backups. I have no parts. Uh, I've been out of the game for 18 years. I you know what? I'm not going to bother. And he rung up Battlebots and said, "Look." Lots of things happened. I can't make it. Uh, just I'm done. I, I give it to somebody else. Yeah. Balbots rung him and said, "No, look, come to the event. You know, get your fight data. You know, learn from the event. Even if we get you one fight, it'll be fantastic. Uh, just come." And he, he kind of thought to himself, "Well, I do have a working robot. I don't have other parts, but if I get a fight, it'll be great fight data. I just hope." I don't get an undercutter because the way I've designed my, my lovely machine, the uh, wheels are exposed to buggery. Yeah, and no, uh, I like the design of the wheels. I like that because they're not omni wheels. No, they're like, they kind of rotate around inside that hub. Because another thing I realize, uh, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I think he works for NASA with rovers. So okay, that's, that's so fair. the rover has that. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, Design on it. it's one of those things where it's like it's it's creative, but it, it ain't going to be successful. You've heard of Omni Wheels? This is an Omni Shambles. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully engineered, not for robot combat. Yeah, that's but, what I would. I but would I think. dig it. I dig. Uh, yeah. I dig the idea. It's just the fact that it was just a one hit dead. Each there goes the wedge. There's the defense done, and the wheel's gone, and that sets. <laughs> so this was uh, given to Valkyrie. Oh! <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's us done with the YouTube fights. I, I, I second that vote. No, no disrespect to the teams, it's just... Fuck. How the fuck do we commentate in this? Boom, boom, bang, dead. Puff, puff, climax. Yeah. Puff, puff, climax. Oh my god, these fucking YouTube fights, man. They'll be the fucking death of me. Again, on top of the, the amount that we've had so far in these fucking YouTube fights, what pisses me off about these YouTube fights is that they're the only thing that legally you can watch outside of the US. Yeah. They're just on YouTube. This is how your show is being presented internationally. Not good. And it's not great. But, and it would be different if you made BattleBots available. And I know it's coming to ITV4. Well, the third season's coming to ITV4 in April. It's on Netflix um, as well, so that's a good sign. But only seasons one and two. Yeah. But it's not like season six is airing simultaneously in the rest of the world and, and globally like it is in America. Mm -hmm. So, and YouTube's a big platform. It is. And it gets a lot of fucking viewers. So if someone stumbles across this, they'll go, what the fuck is this? This or is so, shit. You know what? Someone's going to turn around and go, I remember Battle Bats back in the day. I wonder what that's like now. Yeah. Oh, it hasn't changed. Oh, at all. it's crap. It's just it's one hit. It's, it's still the same. Yeah. E like, here's a little. Like, I think the best fight so far has been uh, the, the jackpot fight. Yeah. I think that's been the best one so far. Yeah. I, 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 them. Generally, I would say that, yeah. Yeah, like, against Deadlift. Yeah, that was a really, really good one. But the, like the rest of them so far, like no disrespect or, or disservice to anyone or anything like that. It, it's literally just a case of sometimes you have a shit fight. Some days it be like that. Sometimes, sometimes it just be, be that like way. that. You know, you could spend thousands of pounds on a therapist, or you could just say sometimes, sometimes it, it be just be like, like that. that. 
Now here's a little question, because there's no point about this, this fight was boom, boom, bad. Okay, I'm going to give you a wee theory. So, this is the guy who made Manta. Yes. Right? And I love... Manta's to coming your way. <laughs> Nick McFoley. Right? Now, I like Triple Crown, and I'd love to see the development of that if he ever comes back. And I do hope you come back, because I do want to see more, like, what other weapon designs you would have had on it, because it in class. But, if it's too expensive and problems occur, if... With the performance you've seen of Triple Crown, I right? mm -hmm. only had one fight, and it might only have one fight in this season, and then you've seen all the fights that Manta did. Yeah. If you had a choice, if the guy turned around and went, okay, to the audience, I'm um, leaving Triple Crown for now, I'm bringing back Manta, would you be happy to see Manta back? Now, I don't mean it's literally took it out of the shed and puts it into the it's show. It's a new and rebuilt a whole one, yeah. new rebuilt one. I'd say stick with Triple Crown. Stick with Triple Crown. St stick with it, because it's something new, you can fuck around with it, you can work on it, and clearly if it's compromised, if it's not working effectively, if it wasn't finished in time, then yeah, it's going to have a shit performance. And mm. you shouldn't feel bad about that. It's no, no, no. Your back's against the wall, you do what you can. You know? And he did so, walk away, learn, he, he learned a hell of a lot from this. He goes, I know what I have to do to make this machine better. Good. So what, what I would say is, stick with Triple Crown. Yeah. Come back next year. Get all your kinks worked out, put, take all your data, everything that you've learned from, from fighting Valkyrie for as short as it was, and come back with a machine that's a little bit more refined, because I think there's a lot of potential there. The beautiful thing about his weapon, his, his uh, weapon, it's not belt driven, it's not chain driven, it's got this little coaster. So the, the weapon actually has this little coaster thing inside it, right? And the motor's attached to it, and it... it Holds on to the imagine like a train on a, uh, like a, a train on a track. Yeah, yeah. So it's going like that. So see if it hits something, the weapon arm will will move will will move. So it means that the weapon won't get a load of damage. So say the blade gets completely compromised and destroyed. Yeah. The motor's still intact. Cool. There's loads of beautiful see, things. See, like, that. I like that, and I encourage things like that. So yeah. even if you do have a shit fight, doesn't yeah. matter. Like that's something that you can still work on and perfect. Please come back. Valkyrie, uh, you, you did a thing. Who cares? You won. <laughs> it literally was. Give yeah, it a, it's it lost a fight. Give whatever. it a win. Yeah. Um, so we're never doing these fucking YouTube we're exclusives done again. Until uh, sometime in the, in the future. Yeah, after the series ends, we'll just get fucking shit faced. Oh, can we we'll, get shit faced? We'll get super shit faced. Can we have strawberry daiquiris? Strawberry daiquiris. I'll have sex on the beach. Oh. Then I'll have a drink. Um, but then We have no beaches in Ireland. Oh god, not the fucking construction site again. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, this was just given to Valkyrie just to pass. Oh, for fuck's actual sake. Well. Yep, fuck. Yep. We're done. Fuck! I keep forgetting about this shit. Um, next week's drop zone will be late. Uh, it's going to come out on Monday or Tuesday. And due to a, a very, very personal religious holiday for I, the Stephen, uh, it will be my day of bath. So uh, instead of sitting like a sad bastard and editing a video, uh, I'm actually going to go out with my friends and have a little laugh. It's going to be nice. It's going to do things. Yeah, well, it'll be wonderful. Um, so I'll be out on Monday or Tuesday and we'll have a fucking be ass getting it out. Who gives a fuck anyway? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe! They like and subscribe, bro! <laughs> oh. Thanks for the t-shirt, John. He loves it. It fits me well, apart from my sagging man boobs. And I would have worn it, but my nips are cold, so you know. He's a fucking dick. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>